This is my 14 foot gooseneck stock trailer. I haul with this all the time. I've just had um, some welding done and gotten it back in good shape and I have already primed it. I have um, re-caulked all the seals. It has been treated with a rust inhibitor. Um, I mean, everything is ready to go. I just need to go ahead and get the paint going. I washed it last night, so I've waited for it to dry this morning um, so that I can pull it in the barn and, and, start, and start painting. Inside is painted. It looks really good. Now the fun part. And I'm covered in paint. Okay, I'm calling it for the night. Day two of painting the horse trailer. I learned a very valuable, I learned a few very valuable lessons yesterday. Number one, it's best to cover up when you paint because paint can go in places it really shouldn't. So, that's why I'm covered up and look like a goofball. Because um, I don't care to scrub paint like I'm being reborn again. Got my gloves and I, I'm covered up pretty good. And the biggest thing was getting it in my hair. That was terrible. But by the way, mayonnaise takes it out. So my hair got a conditioning treatment in the end. So it wasn't terrible, but still cover up when you paint. Next time I'm at Lowe's, I will pay the $8 for the painter's onesie. I will gladly do that. So here we go. Day two, let's get it done. Last piece to go. I am so close to done. There is just one little piece left that I need to finish on one of the sides. I've got the roof done, the front's done. I've rehooked the trailer and pulled it back into the barn so it's out of the sun. Um, this has been, actually, it's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun too. I did all the research myself. Um, I got some expert tips from my friend Jeffrey who owns John Yoder Company in Alabama and he did all the welding and re, you know, restored my trailer for me and did such a great job and I'm so appreciative. Um, he went above and beyond to help me with paint and everything like that and like I said he really helped me figure out what to do with how to paint it and all that good and suggested a color and all that so I'm so appreciative if you need work done to your trailer John Yoder company in Alabama Hazel Green Alabama y'all go see Jeffrey he's amazing um but I'm almost done it's done it is like so done um I've kind of let it cure a little bit I'm going to kind of scan and make sure that I don't need to touch up any places I did every piece of this and I'm gonna to touch up the aluminum, um, have somebody come in to look at it, so I, I hope I can get that done before I get to it. This was fun, it really was. A lot of work, but uh, totally worth it. And even doing the inside, like that's dry, that's very dry. This should be dry, because I painted it all last night. <laughs> I'm like so tickled with myself. I totally didn't expect it to look this good. I really didn't. Hi, buddy. 